Monday afternoon. We have a white Cadillac convertible. We just got sent five hundred dollars rolling stone. It's important that we get the other five hundred. Well, I won't come here. I'll go to my bank. It was very good. I didn't think about that because I can't cash checks on it. Really wasteful. Well, we don't have to spend it. I need to, you know, to make it. But when you get back home, you have 500 bucks. Yeah. You can see. I'll read these telegrams into the record. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the music yes, in the back, Mr. Thompson, yeah. did you, uh, did you send out a, a telegram uh, this early this morning at about uh, four <laughs> four a.m. Must have freaked the uh, people. <laughs> All right, Jim Silberman, right of house, 201 East 50th, there's the ice. New York City. Sunday once, today, important, $500, my account, Bank of Aspen, against American Dream account, stop. All settlements pending, no details possible, this medium. We'll call later today, tomorrow, with massive wisdom. But meanwhile, send the five, 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 thanks. And our hotel from Mingo, Las Vegas. I liked it at all. See what I got looked at us. I feel sorry for us. It means he knows that we, uh, we're about to be busted. Did you see the look on his face? Look all right. Well, he was, he was mild. sympathetic, yeah. It was a look of somebody who looks at a dog about to be run over. It's the second telegram. These are sent four in the morning. Do you want some background music? <laughs> yeah, uh, it must have music. This is, this is Rolling Stone after all. Music magazine. David Felton, Rolling Stone, 625 Third Street, San Francisco. Send 500 at once. No details possible of this medium. We'll call later today, but get money wheels moving at once. We have seized the high ground. All, all signals zang. Send funds. Hunter. Oh, and I had it here at Western Union in Las Vegas. We scratched out the hotel. That's when we were going to check out of the hotel. What was all that shit about the service last night? What, what, got us what? In, what got us into such a funk about checking out? Forgotten. What were you about leaving out of here? Yeah, what? what the the ice part was men. The ice? An hour and a half. No ice. What was part of it? I know, I was determined to check out. Oh, well, you still no move telephone, that. uh, telegraph pad. That's right, the telegraph pad. Yeah. Mm. Survey fuckers. Well, we're in here for the night anyway. We check out. They'll burn us for 22 bucks or whatever. Room's 20, that's not 23. 23? Yeah. Well, actually, uh, considering what they will be With the car, it's no problem, man. No, it's no, I mean, I didn't feel dragged. Having the car to drive back here was, I think it was uh, having to walk that fucking lobby each time. And uh, all the yeah. way when I came in. Yeah, the okay, cabs were doing. People were mistaken for a, for a bow boy and they want me to take their baggage for them. That's right. I get tired of that shit. Yeah, you know, that's it. At the same time, I have to be polite. So I, I spent most of the night and I said, carrying baggage back and forth for a <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> The yeah. wives of the district attorney. Yeah. <laughs> well, you should do that. These are good people. He's a place. We should have a white Cadillac down here where we can look at it. I don't know how the hell fuck we can get it into this yard. Awesome. There's no way we can get it underneath the window. Look at those filthy old men out there in a $500 a day suite or whatever. Look how big that comes up here. Yeah. Three windows. All these fuckers. Oh, you mean the, the apartment? Yeah, that's a monster, does it? I saw some of the biggest fucking DAs in my life this morning. Biggest? God, yeah, there's, there's some huge Texas looking bastards. Oh, well, there's a little DA's wife running around since she's exercising, I guess. Where? I can't see she's playing the olive tree. The olive tree? We have olive trees out in the backyard. Did yeah. you notice? They just have a nice backyard. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take that like to, If you like to have six fucking swimming pools in your backyard. Yeah. Is that each what each one looks like a kidney bean. Six pools? Fuck it. Right. Six kidney beans. So what are you doing? We should have one of those pools. Where do we get one of those rooms? Maybe they can go let us switch downstairs. I wouldn't mind having that. Well, play for the people. Yeah, I'm afraid. I probably 
have stolen. I mean, no effect on them at all. Yeah, I better call Felton and tell him what we're doing. You know, I'll have to wire the, wire the fucking phone completely. I do think we're about to be busted. That guy had a look on his face that scared the shit out of him. He was a Filipino. I know. He, he looked like he was very sorry for us. He knew we were in bad trouble. He might have been Samoan. Samoan, yeah. That's right. They sent him out after me. Those fuckers have been chasing me now. Reactionary government power. Well, if I were you, I wouldn't worry about it. Sure. We have plenty of, uh, plenty of action. Oh, I'll put the, all the tape heads on the phone. Here. Everything wired in. I already feel weird. Do I have any weapons except a little goddamn pocket knife? You gave me one of your weapons. Hmm? You gave me one of your weapons. You gave it away. It's a frenzy. It's a horrible uh, letter over here. Oh, really? I have the rigging knife. I have the Moreland spike. That's the main thing. As long as we have the Moreland spike, nobody's going to get near it. I don't feel good without a gun anymore. Yeah. I, I, I was thinking of bringing it, man. I figured, with you leaving grass around the fucking hotel room, we don't need guns in here. <laughs> I'm sure they found it. I think I finally have done the scotch scene. It's over with it. You finished the scotch? No, I mean, I can't drink scotch anymore. Every fucking time I drink it, I... I... Well, no wonder you're putting that fucking Coca-Cola. You're putting no. Chevis Regal and Coke? No, no, no. No, no I just expect it for you. That's what I've always drank it. I think I started drinking it because I thought it was high shit. You know. Hot stuff to drink from. Well. It tastes pretty good. It's a pretty good non-hangover drink. Well, it didn't do me much good last night. Fucking twisted. Yeah. I must have a haircut. I must get my shoes. Comes in the hangover trip. I found out that actually the real, the good high comes in the hangover. I mean, it hurts. That's when the that's when the craziness goes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's clearly yeah, that's that's the only value of pills to get you so strong out there. Yeah. That you dip into your uh, interior magnets. Fuck, I have it over. Good God, man. Good camera. Good morning, this is solid shit, isn't it? I didn't know dentist. Jesus. Well, it's okay. I can't really send it over. Here. It's not right. It was right. I think the record should also be strained about my winning $10. That's right. My attorney just won $10 good. on the, what, the poker machine? Yeah. Playing poker with a robot? Some kind of mechanical well, you poker? Know, put it in a quarter. And punch a little button and it deals for you. Hmm. You can do you can do about one every three seconds. <laughs> you know? These windows any further open? Hmm. Have them back to back. I like to get one of those pool rooms. They're yeah. so fucking little. Man. What? Yeah, it's better than no pool at all. Yeah, but it's too cold. We have no pool. <coughs> we could take with those those huge nets. You see those things they clean the bottom of the pools with. Yeah. Go out to the main pool where people are swimming out there. And pretend they were the pool thing? Yeah. Just wander around in circles, jamming into people. I could just, just follow you around with my little roof recorder. Yeah, yeah. I could clean the pool and you could do some music. Well, well, I mean, just all day, though, for, for three days and three nights. Oh. Not, not speak anymore. A thousand cops over there in this weird. with you only through my Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's weird flute music uh, coming out of the back of that room. Speaker up in front, droning on. Look at that bald-headed fat son of a bitch of a bird. Where? Look at him. He looks like you did. What do you mean me? I didn't look like that. He looks like a waterhead. Hydrocephalic. Looks dangerous. Look at him. He hasn't really shaved his head. That's a sort of a strange growth around his ears. Weird shadow. The sun's coming out. Yeah, we should get that, get out the Cadillac and drive around some fuck people around. I gotta call Felton, at least thank him for the money. Oh, yeah. God, those were they taking it out of. I might be... It was Felton the Senate? Yeah. I, I, I don't know about Silverman yet. He might have said his, too. He might have a thousand dollars. But Silverman's a, it's completely useless. Unless we get somebody to air express some checks down there. Well, quit trying to pretend you didn't do that intentionally, guy. I know you did that purposely. You wanted to have money when you got back home. No, I, I thought we could use it. It didn't occur to me to just nail. We couldn't use it. 
I figured that both of them would, would do about 200. Didn't we know last night that we didn't have checkbooks? No, or? not until this morning. Oh. I figured both of them would send less than 500. Then we'd end up with 500 somehow in some weird combination. But maybe they both sent uh, 500. That's pretty good. There must be some way to deal with them. Well, she was crazy. It was clear when I came in the room, and she was nuts. Normally, I would you know, think I would come to the wrong room and open the door and saw this weird-looking kind of uh, stupor-ridden girl who glared, glared at me with these weird eyes. Hard. Yeah, I realized that I must have been in the right room, even though there's no reason for her being here at all. Dollar seventy-five for the hamburger. Keep it on the expense account. I could tell she didn't uh, get along with me too well. He wasn't immediately taken with me. Well, she she was she was pretty sure she was going to be able to get me because she was saying things like you know, she grew up in, in L.A. and she used to go with a Chicano and uh, I guess that, maybe I think she expected you to be the next one. Oh yeah, that's probably what it was. You know. Okay, then she probably figured I was a cop. I was intentionally nice to her. Somebody that couldn't be taken. Anyway, you know. Yeah, I didn't want her uh, thinking that. I figured one of us had to be nasty to her, and you, you weren't I want to good. keep the record perfectly straight, too. I, I, I didn't want her for myself. Got her for me. It was for you. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking bulldog. I was, of, no, I was thinking of you all along. Yeah. You should at least because you, you, do better. You know, you kept on telling me, don't bring anybody with you. I thought kind of something about that. Yeah. I knew you probably so would. Why does a fucking client tell a lawyer whether or not he can have a bodyguard? That's true. She probably would have been a pretty good bodyguard. Fuck the death for you. What have you done? You put that fucking Chevis Regal in the coat. <laughs> you asshole. Jesus Christ. Good God, man. I'm definitely becoming decadent. Man, yeah, that's, that's horrible. horrible. I, mean, that, that's, uh, I didn't mean to do Crime that. against nature. I know. What are you going to do now with it? I'm going to drink rum. I told you. I'm put the top back on that. That stuff evaporates. Very high. The whole thing will go in an hour. We can buy more. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. He must remember to go down there and pick it up. <laughs> you know? He's right, it was only about sixteen dollars for a fit. Right yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. He lost it. Yeah. I mean they, they probably won't send it this time, but if they do, well what we can do with it. Well I can just call for that. Then we get five hundred more dollars. <laughs> we gotta do a got into a poker game with a bunch of Mexicans. It's Sally's. They're sitting around with knives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we could go play a little poker now. Twenty-five dollars worth of poker. We have to go down to pick up the money first. I have eight dollars. I was down to that. What are you down to? About fifteen, ten. Fuck, that would have been a nightmare. Between the channel, the white Cadillac convertible, and a fucking river there. Hurry up, bills, and I'm able to leave the hotel. Of course, there's no place to go anyway. How long did they let you run loose? Run loose? Well, I mean, what if... <laughs> could you, how long could you think you could actually stay here? I mean, you know, say that you were here. Mm, or, I mean, in other words, say, say well, I, I picked up a lead. I'm going on to... I, I've got this DA. I'm going to chase him on to Montana now. <laughs> you know, say you're still in the story. Mm -hmm. How long do you think you could go before they finally said, all right, man, fuck off? <laughs> Two weeks, maybe. 500 every other day, or once a week, or? And once I got over 2,000, they'd start to get nasty. They want to know exactly what I was doing. Well, let's just demand 2,000 out right there. Get down to business and get an airplane or something. Well, there's not much to do with it around here. If there's good stuff to do with it, I'd like to... Uh, How about a glider? A glider? Don't they have, the, don't they have those gliders, you know, like the... You know, gliders. Well, we go through the newspapers and see what kind of amusements they offer. And what, what you can run it. Motorcycles. We should check on that motorcycle. I'd like to get some of those Honda 750s or something and take them out in the desert. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Or the dune buggies. That's really the best thing. We have that. Why, where'd you find that? What book was that in? That was the, 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 the one downstairs in the lobby. Let's go. Let's call them. We can go over there with the white Cadillac. There'd be no question of our credit. Yeah. Pull in with that and run a dune buggy and leave it there for security. Yeah. I suggest we go to get the money first. Though. Yeah. I always get myself into a stupor. I wish I brought that mess ball.
I thought it was stupid, but I'm in it stupid. I must be out of it. Uh, did, you, did you take the fucking joint? No. I told you they've been in this room, man. You can't leave no, grass on, around the hotel room. I thought you just put a joint in here. Come on. I didn't touch it. She lost your key over there on that same table. That's it? That's the supply? One more? One more. Just take a couple of drags at a time and leave it here. Oh, I got the red. The one red. Oh, that's horrible. What do you mean one red? Oh, I thought that just relaxed you like that. I've never taken any reds. Well, it knocks you out. Well, I'll save that for Yeah. when it becomes unbearable. Wall has a whole bunch of decks of drinks, so. That's, uh, I'm taking Benny's. What it is. I put all those little mini whites out, out of my kit when I came down here. That whole aspirin bottle I got from you a long time ago. I don't really have that many uh, decks of drinks. Maybe 10 or 12. I only got about 10, 5 days. How many days do we have now? This is Monday, we have Tuesday and Wednesday, and part of Thursday. Wow, well, let's just take it one day at a time. Started in June, Abbey Lane at the Desert Inn, Louis Stardust. Prima. Stardust. Oh, that's that's a weird, there. that's a weird fucking sign, huh? Stardust sign? Eh? I don't even see one. Right yeah. up there, that huge oh, that monster, purple yeah. cloud. Oh. I feel so dingy, I barely drive. It's kind of floating along. This car has no sound or no, uh, you know, it's not, not like being in a car. This is the way it should be. You should never go anywhere without a giant white cat like convertible. That red thing was uh, cheap. It did, it was. Uh, I like a fucking Oki. Especially when it started getting real dusty. And you had yeah. all your shit on the floor and everything. Grapefruit. You must get a lot of grapefruit now, too. Yeah. Or at least it does. You don't, you don't, uh... You see, you're making fun of it. I have, I like class myself. I feel very comfortable in it. Yeah, it's still nice. I feel much more natural than at the new I don't feel natural at it. Just because you're... You know what you mean. I think you're only swine with every car like this. I don't, though. That's... Does that make <laughs> well, I'll leave it up to you. I feel like this is the uh, the right thing to do. I mean, you know. Well, it's the right thing to do for the story, but it's a horrible thing to do normally. No, I mean in, in normal life. No, that a normal life. That a, that a my normal life. I feel like I'm going to crash into something. I mean, if I were, uh, if I were uh, going to be a... Uh, Well, I think the person should have one of these, but only for uh, you know, some weird trips. But you can always rent them for that. Why, the, why spend $7,500? $8,000 or some shit? Yeah, but a lot, of, a lot of people that can afford shit like this, they won't, they won't rent it. Because they think that, well, you know, I don't want people to think that I'm you know, snobbish. I, I don't feel that way at all. We know you that's why that's why I wear weird clothes a lot of times. We were spending ten dollars a day for cabs. This is actually an economical move to get this white cat like your room. Johnny Carson, we should go in there and get on the Johnny Carson show. We also know you put a price on these things. We could look at there must be some some decent shit to do out here. I mean, some yeah. place that's a weird trip. To pay this uh, on the beach, the daytime? What? Uh, in the daytime, I don't know. Well, no, I mean, even night. The Circus Circus gets old pretty fast. Signing up. Signing in. The only way you can do it is meet some people, probably. In today's army. I mean, I don't know. Some of the Las Vegas free press and see if we get some drugs. If you'd like to serve yourself, they got a free press here? Yeah. Is it connected with the LA free press? No, but it's the same. It's an underground paper. What did you do with cigarettes? My coat's blown. Does F310 work? Well, actually, with that rolling star, we could probably get some drugs. They'd know we weren't cops. Yeah. Oh, bitch. Shooting out in front of me? Here are comments some of the participants made after the test. I'm so dingy, I just barely drive. Just barely. Well, just like I had a tune-up in the car and uh, ran smoother and passed. You get what you pay for. That's true. Well, I don't really have much, that much use for it. So you've, uh... You've been getting the worst legal advice from all your counselors. 
bill in the world, you know. You start paying your fucking tabs once in a while. Always pay the lawyer first. Well, I paid uh, Sheldon and I haven't paid Edwards. But he still owes me $2,000 for his campaign. I sent him a bill. Edwards owes you money? Well, I just sent him a bill for the campaign to remind him that he owed me a lot of money. Well, here we go. There's the song. It's hard for me to believe that I'm going to get this car and I'm going to crash it into something. I have a feeling we're just going to mash it. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at we're in the right streets. We're in the right lane. Forget about those feelings. Good to be driving around with a beer in my hand. Trust, trust your eyes. Forget your heart. Oh, Don't you know it's a commercial vehicles can work there for 30 minutes. On these yellow spots, we're commercial, we're, we're in business. That's true. Western Union. Where? That's what I mean, the Fort Queens, right over there. I can see it from here. Yeah. Yeah. I can't see it. Just walk. Trust me. Alright. I'll just go in and uh, oops. No, we can shouldn't we shouldn't leave this beer. No, I think I think you should sit in the car. Tell the car where do something to it. Yeah, no, we got 30 minutes parking, man. I told you. But commercial vehicles don't mean uh, white Cadillacs. Yeah, but the point is, they don't, they're not going to stop cars here, man. Look, right here, put them in a passenger loading right in front of us. I'm going to make sure just move up there. But this, this means, obviously, means cabs and shit. No, I don't. I don't think it does because they have the cabs uh, have their own. You know, they have three the minutes. Yeah, well, just, just leave it right here. Where okay? is it? Is it right over there? Yes, right well, there. Well, let's just drive around the corner. Well, right in front of it. I don't know why we should park over here and get ourselves all troubled and fucked around. I spilled a beer all over the floor. See that scum look at us there? We should have poked him in the head. Yeah, that's nice something. That's good, though. It, we must get around the, uh, the DAs and freak them with this thing. What we should do is just call the, uh, the free press and just assume they've read the Rolling Stone thing. You can just call and say who you are and just say we want, we want to come down and get some mess Just announce yourself. Yeah, see what they say. That's so bizarre that uh, it might work. Well, they probably have a store there or something, a bookstore or... No, I would assume so. We can go over there and just ask them if they, have a copy, if they sell copies of the Rolling Stone. And if they got them, then I could ask them if they want to trade it to me for an autograph, for my photograph. Here. The drugs? Yeah. Well, if you're, if you're up to doing that, I can send it. Oh, yeah, no, I can. Stuff like that. Water off a big spot. I know there's a cliche that uses that. Right? A bunch of freaks. Well, fuck with them. It's, it's like doing. Uh, it's almost as much fun to fuck with freaks as it is with cops sometimes. This is paranoid and weird. How are you put that badge on? I got mine on my coat. Why? Well, nice. Because we're bound to be fucked with somehow by the police. The guy was staring at us. Two horrible freaks in this white headlight. Probably just check us out. Bitch. I'll park right in front of that. Uh, God damn mother. What's the one who's taking? Lost it? it? Or Lost it already? And I, I, got, I guess I left it back at the path. Oh no, here it is. I'm gonna tell you right in this hole. 12 minutes. This is illegal. Well, do you wanna sit in the thing if I park right here? Right here again, same thing, commercial. It's, it's like, 
fuck with this, you can just tell them we're on business. The contractors just, are cars. Just right leave there. the tape recorder here. You get their testimony. Switch it on right there. Any cop stop, just do that. Um, what we said, because you have to use the rest of it. Oh, I'll call Wilcox. Two bike to this. There was an area But they were going to attack us. says the guest list for Trisha Nixon and Edward Cox's wedding in June is limited to no more than 400 friends and relatives and will be a private affair. From New York, this is Dick Cull, and this has been news from the American FM Radio Network. Good morning, Colt. That may be good. If you maintain the professionalism, and I, I get progressively more deranged and more fucked up. Because we made our appearance over there. They must have seen us walk in. There were a thousand people looking at us when we came out. That's 2,000 years. Yeah. So we go back tonight looking 2, a little... 2,000 years listening to our footsteps. 1,000 noses. 5,000 fingers reaching out towards our necks. Well, that might happen tomorrow or the next day. But if they see a person going progressively to pieces on drugs, apparently, right in front of them, We should get some ether, maybe. We did buy some ether. We could fuck ourselves up pretty badly. Like raw ether. Really good. Twist you can buy it? Yeah. These drugstores. Yeah. Shouldn't buy any drugstore. A buck for a thing of ether. Let me call Wilcock. Right then. Let's see if I can get uh, us some drugs. I only called down there to say, and say, unless they read the Rolling Stone thing just recently, there's no way they're going to just say, come on down and get some escort. You know, unless they just got finished with the fucking thing, sort of, I thought it was a weird coincidence. But they put the magazine down and these two freaks appear right next to him, Manny Westfall. You know, it's an unlikely place for us to be. If they've got Rolling Stone or if they've read the article. Well, you want to do that? Yeah. Actually, we have nothing to lose. Yeah. Well, here's that number, but I don't think it's, uh... Where is it? I don't think it's going to ring anywhere. It's that one always... That's the, the main weird number. Maybe there'll be somebody in there. See the editor. Maybe ask for the editor. Well, somebody must have a mess for There's no, no question about it. We're out here working and we can't work without it. What's that? Joyce? Something? Jay. Jay? Do they sell other uh, other publications? 
Pardon? Does the free press, I mean, like, do you, do you guys have a bookstore somewhere where, uh, you know, like, where's the office or something? Oh, it's in Commercial Center. Oh. I just wondered if you guys sold the Rolling Stone. Uh, the book? Uh, the book, the Rolling Stone? No, the, you know, the magazine, Rolling Stone magazine. I don't think so. Hmm. Did you ever read it? Uh, no. I never read it. Oh. Well, I'm looking for somebody that, that sells it or uh, has read it. Yeah, same here. I'm still stone sober. It's terrible. Once I do this, that's it. It's a boring. We've already missed half the workshops. So we can only wait a few minutes more. We want to step over there. And if he calls, we'll just we'll try to get down later in the night. Remote control, RM15. It is now 11.30 a.m. Moby Dick is pulling away from Building 9. Oh, fuck, I forgot my sunglasses. I have to buy some more. We are going out again in search of the American dream. We've looked to find it. We don't think it's at the district attorney's convention. Nothing's happening there. They're all a bunch of undelivered liberals. <laughs> Dodging all the significant issues of the day. They're spending millions and billions of dollars on rehabilitating persons that they would obviously like to kill. All they're doing is fecking them up for the kill, the eventual kill. We are here to see to it that it happens, to assist them in any way possible, <laughs> to give them all information moral, courage, and drugs. <laughs> Those fuckers can do it better if they were on drugs. <laughs> that's right. maybe, that's, maybe that's where we've gone wrong. We haven't dealt prof 
especially with the media, the more you know, I've seen no media at all. That's the first one I've seen. Yeah. That doesn't mean it's it has anything to do with the conference. No, but we can ask for what we don't care about the conference. We want the story. Yeah, it's probably a local, American local dream. station. I think we are serious to get to and look for the American dream. Right in the middle, like there she is. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, that wasn't her. I just want to start interviewing people and ask them, you know, what is the American dream and where is it? But you know, right on the street, sidewalk interviews. Yeah. You know, I remember the way those, uh, there were these two guys in Frisco, these two uh, radio uh, oh, yeah, I remember freaks. Yeah. Yeah. They, they made a whole uh, series of that kind of stuff. I never could quite believe they had all those things straight. Well, I'm sure they, uh, you know, we did them. I'm getting tired of giving you advice that you're not taking. That's true. I'm, uh, well, I'm, I'm working without a fucking fee now. It's, uh, you know, it's really going to be a bummer. No money, no, you're not even following my advice, so. What is there? God damn, look at that license there, J-A-L, Nevada. That's it, J-A-L. Big fucking blue cat. Fight smug, ride a horse, oh. <laughs> Why don't all these Cadillac convertibles have that flag on them? Ours is the same thing. Yeah. Unless we made it in the window. I love the one right next to it with a sheriff sticker. Yeah. Maybe it's another rented car. Yeah. No, but it's only got three, three uh, letters. Sorry, it wouldn't have to be a... Well, look at all the other fucking Nevada license plates. They all got, yeah. you know, a bunch of numbers and letters. Only a cup. What else? I have to get some coffee, sir. Well? What's that? Is that our new... What is this place? Manor House Furniture Company. Oh, I thought it was a university. You know, we could go to some little joint like that, like the elbow room here. Just, yeah. I mean, find some place out in the desert. That's true. I wish you'd get a little hotter. Clean dirt one and no cement. <laughs> Isn't that weird saying to see in the middle of the desert? Yeah. You know, let's stop up here and drink some coffee. Actually, I think it's, I, I, the trouble is obvious today. You're lazy. No, my last story came out of uh, you know, accidentally doing what I was. You know, I was actually making an attempt to cover the mid 400. Here, I'm just making no attempt to do anything. You don't think that? Uh, well, I, I do. Well, we're attempting to act the story out. The story that you did in between is what's affected you. You did the mint, then you did Salazar, and now you're trying to do the, the you know, the continuation of the mint, and it, uh, you know. <laughs> but. Well, we're just trying to act it out. Yeah, fun. but I'm not paying, being paid very well for it. I keep on telling you. I'm serious. You want all the rest of my money? The rest of your money? How much money are you going to A hundred dollars or something? <laughs> Oh, less than that? What? 180, 170. You must tell you, you really have a low opinion of me. Hmm? You think you got enough fucking money to buy me? Not a hundred dollars, I'll tell you that. There's no way we're going to get any more money until we... Well, actually, there's no way, period. I'm not so. talking about money. I'll take the car, though. I'll give you a good start for the car. I'll give you the car. <laughs> You head started across the desert, then reported stolen. All right, this is my name out of it. You got a deal. I'll take this fucker to the LA. I'll just leave it parked in the middle of the street, man. Leave the fucking key in it. The boys are running down lake and have something nice to steal. I wonder what they would do if I reported it stolen. Well, they'd ask you what happened to me. Well, we'd have to fix it up where I supposedly took the fl plane out or something first. 
Oh, that's right, you signed something, didn't you? Or did you? I signed to drive it too, yeah. They got my license number. It wouldn't be too good then. Oh, I couldn't keep it. That's why I say I just drive it and leave it somewhere uh, east LA. With a key. No, I get my credit card then. Oh. Take it away. That must be. Um, no, it's too, uh, too weird. Try to have a... Actually, no, I can't fuck with that last credit card. Eh? We wouldn't have a card at all except for that. The deposit, you have to Let's put it in the car. Let's use it as a battering ram. Yeah. Start knocking down mailboxes with the car. Yeah. 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 I used to do that when I was a kid. Yeah, same here. <laughs> now, this is the, about the time we... Once of coffee, there's no more coffee. Right into some kind of scum. I uh, I assure you there'll be something else a little further down the road. Yeah. Well, I think I'm more grateful. As you all know, I, I never make mistakes about little things. It's true, it's only the big ones. Constantly blowing. That's my second whole grapefruit, plus a quarter grapefruit for this. It should be pretty full on that. Are you saving those things or something? Saving what? The, or, uh, the grapefruit grants? No, that's the one I throw it out. Oh. That way. Yeah, that's right. You don't want to litter them. Save them and put them in the luggage and take them. I right do what you agree. Take them home. Souvenirs. Yeah. Make wallpaper out of them. What the hell do all the people around here do? They do. I mean, they can't all work in the fucking casinos. This is weird here. This is just a, a walled in subdivision. Paradise Crest. Paradise Crest? Yeah. Are things well going? Yeah. Can't say anything in there. Got the Great Wall Shit, of China. Wall around. All around it, yeah. It's walled. Hi, Hi, buddy. I'm in the middle of the desert, a walled off area. Yeah. There's some Spanish stucco homes. I wonder why. Oh, oh shit. In completely yeah. useless areas. Yeah. Somebody will fire out the window if you do that shit. Annie Oakley Street. Annie Oakley and Flamingo Road. <laughs> What's this at here? What? Reservoir and Pump, Las Vegas. Reservoir and Pumping Station. Looks like something oh. Greek. What was it called? Greek or Roman or something. No, we're coming to some kind of city here. I'm just kind of guessing as to where the hell we, we're driving. I don't know. Uh, see, the sun's directly overhead, huh? That means it's no help. I assume we're going more or less south. I'm not sure that's right. In the uh, right direction. Though. I can't tell right now. They're building like bastards out here. Look at this. Subdivision is being. Via Bonita. Yes, yes, they certainly like to use her language. Yep. Gives it a little romantic flavor, a little. Where's the map? Western. We try to figure out where the hell we are. I, this know, area is so I know where we're going. There's a place right up ahead. Uh, I, mean, I think it should down. be the Boulder Highway we're going to cross. The what? It should be the Boulder Highway we're about to cross. I wonder why we're why all this stuff, all this building is out here. Right? More fucking cement blocks for every house. Out here. These are about thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollar homes, aren't they? Mm, thirty, maybe. Forty. Yeah. Winterwood County of Clark. Yeah, there you Boulder Highway. So we're Boulder out. City is to the right. Is that a town? Uh, uh, yeah. Let's go to Boulder City. All right. Let's get some coffee somewhere on the way. Oh, there's plenty, plenty of tacos. Right up here, tacos. Terry's Taco Stand. USA. I'd go for a taco. Five for a buck. That sounds horrible. I'd rather go somewhere where there's one for 50 cents. No, this, uh, this might be the last five? chance we get for tacos. 
don't give a fuck for tacos. I need some coffee. I, I have one tacos. Five for a buck? That's like some seven says five hamburgers for a buck. Uh, I don't do. judge a taco by its price. And you think you might get a good deal? I might. Because the hamburgers are 29 cents. Tacos are 29 cents. Where's the American it's, it's just a Morgan. cheap place, that's all. Yep. We'll bargain with them. We'll fuck around with them. Uh, is it on? It's done. It's gonna go now from the time you... It's on, it's already recorded. Yeah, I know, until I take it off. There's not much tape left. Uh, I'm gonna hurry. There's enough for my objectives. Hello. Uh, yeah, you have tacos here? Mm -hmm. Are they Mexican tacos? Or just regular tacos? Oh. I mean, yeah, do you have chile in them and things like that? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry? We have cheese in them, uh, lettuce, and, and we have extra sauce to, you know, put on them. I mean, you guarantee them that they are authentic Mexican tacos? They look. I don't know. Oh, well, I mean... <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, Luke. Yeah, well, I just want to make sure that I get what I'm paying for. But they're five for a dollar? I'll take five of them. Okay. Five tacos, ordering. Okay. What's a, a taco burger? What's that? <laughs> I that's just started a, here today. That's a hamburger with a taco in the middle. <laughs> It's on a bun instead of a shell. <laughs> <laughs> a taco on a bun. I'll bet you that your tacos are just hamburgers with a, with a shell instead of a bun. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just started working here, huh? When? You just started working here? Today. <laughs> yeah, I thought so, but I never saw you here before. <laughs> you go to school around here? Hmm? You go to school around here? No, I don't go to school. Oh. There's a case to do it. That's the uh, flat thing with the cheese, right? Or they fold it over. Oh, they fold it over. Worth thirty nine cents. No. Worth it? I guess raise it from fifty nine to seventy nine. Oh, keep it Forget it. I uh, I advise you to get. Uh, What's the chili burger? That has a uh, chili. It's a hamburger with chili yeah, in it. A hamburger. <laughs> That's too heavy for me. I advise you to uh, to get a taco burger. Try it out. Oh, I see. Yeah, the taco has meat in it. Of course, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, I'll try that. Taco it's, burger? Can I have some coffee now, too? Coffee, too? But right now, so I can drink it while I'm waiting. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Is that all you want is one taco burger? Well, I'll try it. I might want two, but I'm going to wait your time. Are your eyes blue or green? Pardon? Are your eyes blue or green? They change. Oh. Uh, like, one... like a lizard? <laughs> like a cat. Oh, like a cat. <laughs> no, that's that's right. Well, lizard changes the color of skin. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want anything to drink? Beer. beer. No, I no, I have beer in the car. Tons of it. The whole back seat's full of it. I'm gonna work on that fucking coconut with that hammer. I want to see that. Oh yeah, I'll destroy it right in the middle of the highway. Sure do. Yeah. Is a Boulder City somewhere around here? Boulder City? Yeah. Do you want sugar? Yeah. She didn't know. Is that good? We're in Boulder City, aren't we? Or very close to it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you. Do yourself. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. Boulder City. Okay. Aren't you from Nevada? No. I've never been here before. We're just we're just traveling through. You just go straight up. Up uh, this road here. And any action up there in Boulder City? I mean, don't ask me. I mean, is I, there I gambling there? Or? I, I I don't know. It's just a little town. Well, it is the casino place. 
I don't know. Yeah. But where are you? You live in Nevada? Wait, wait, where are you? Where are you from? New York. How long? And you just been here a day? No. <laughs> I've been here for a while. Oh. I mean, That's where do you go around here? I mean, like, say you wanted to go swimming or something like that. Me? If you wanted to go... Jump in my backyard. <laughs> okay. What's the address? <laughs> um, go to the lake or something. The pools aren't open yet. I know. Come at the lake. See, Wait, where, where, that's Boulder Highway. You just keep going up. And you see signs. Boulder City. Let me, let me, let me explain it to you. Let me run it down just briefly if I can. We're looking for the American dream. We were told that it was somewhere in this area, but... The American dream? Yeah, the American Tell dream. Tell yourself and go to paradise. Is that it? <laughs> well, we're here looking for it because uh, they, they sent us out here all the way from uh, San Francisco to look for it. That's why they gave us that white Cadillac there. To, they figured that we could catch up with it on that. But, uh, hey, Lou, you know what the American dream is? She's asking him. She's asking the, the cook if he knows where the American dream is. Hands are good. Two whole works now. I got the money. I think it's down this road. Now, what is it that you want over here? Five tacos, one taco burger. Do you know what the American dream is? What is that? I don't. Ask. I told him to kill us up in North Carolina. What is it? That's well, we don't know. We're, that, we we were sent out here from San Francisco to look for the American dream by a magazine. You know, that we're to, to cover. Oh, you well, mean a place? A place called. The American Dream. Well, isn't that the old psychiatrist club? I think so. The it old psychiatrist club? The old psychiatrist club. It's called the Psycho. It's on Paradise. Hunter. It's Hunter. on Paradise. Heck yes. Uh, the old, we found it. Uh, Come here. Now, are you guys serious? No, because well, look at that car. I mean, do I look Listen, like I want a car like that? Isn't, uh, could that be the old uh, psychiatrist club? It was a discotheque place? Maybe that's it. So I'm paradise. Ross somewhere. Allen had the old psychiatrist club. Is he the owner now? I don't know. See, we, we, all we were told was go to the, find the American dream. Take this white Cadillac and go find the American dream. It's somewhere in Las Vegas area. And it's that a silly story to, to do, old... but, uh, you know, that's what we get paid for. Are Where you taking that? pictures Where? of it? Or? No, 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 no pictures. Just, or did somebody just send you on just, a goose chase? It's sort of a wild goose chase, more or less, you know. I mean, that has to be the old psychiatrist club, but the only people that hang out there is a bunch of pushers, peddlers, uppers and downers, and all that Dope. stuff. Maybe that's it. Dopers. Could be it. Is, is it a but big never... nighttime place, or is it an all day? Oh, honey, this never stops. But it's not a casino. Oh, what, what is it? What kind of place is it's it? It's on Paradise. Uh, the old psychiatrist club's on Paradise. Is that what it's called, the old psychiatrist club? No, that is what it used to be, but they, someone rebought it. But I didn't hear about it at the American Dream. It was something like, uh, it was associated with, uh, it's a mental joint where all the dopeies hang out. A mental joint? You mean like a mental like hospital? No, you know, honey, where all the dope peddlers and all the pushers, everybody hangs out. It's a bunch where all the kids are potted when they go in and everything. But it's not called what you said, American Dream. You have no idea what it might be called? Well, where, more or less where do you think it might be located? We can just drive around. Right, on Paradise, off of Paradise and Eastern. Paradise and Eastern. Paradise and Eastern, but Paradise and Eastern are <laughs> parallel. We just crossed Eastern out here somewhere. Yeah, but I know I come off of Eastern. Yeah. And yeah, then I go to Paradise. Yeah, I know it, but that would make it then on Paradise no, around right. Flamingo, right straight up here. I think somebody's handed you a... We're staying at the Flamingo. I think this place you're talking about, the way you're describing it, I think that, you know, maybe that's it. We just, uh, you know. What is it's that? not a tourist attraction. Is that a Las Vegas uh, thing, Bobber Dealey? The layout? No, it's a, it's a, sem it's a magazine, it's a San Francisco magazine. Yeah, we're doing a story for that has San Francisco like magazine. Stuff, but my God, these kids go in there are weird, weird out of there. Well, that's why, they sent, that's why they sent me along. See, I'm, he's the writer, I'm the bodyguard. Because I figured it would be guys a, are the horses and crap and stuff up. These kids are nuts. Well, we'll, you know, we'll, take care. we'll take care. Yeah, they got me lost. 24 hour day violence, is that what we're saying? Here's the exactly. Eastern. Exactly. All right, now here's Jesus the Christ, flamingo. That's weird. Here's the TV. Oh, perhaps from now on you take my advice. Yes, that's true. Oh, I can't show you this way. I can tell you better my way. Go right up here to the first gas station, which is Tropicana to the right. Tropicana to right, the right. Right, the first gas station, Tropicana. Make a right on Tropicana and take this way. Going back. Right on Tropicana, right on Paradise. Yeah. 
You see a big black building. It's all painted black and real weird looking. Right on Tropicana, right on Paradise. Black building. Right, and, it, and there's a sign on the side of the building that says Psychiatrist Club, but they're completely remodeling it and everything. All right, that's close enough for jazz. That's the best but I can do for you, honey. I don't know if that's even it or well, not, but like it sounds like it is. That that's good. the best lead we've had all for two days. We've been going around asking well, people all around. It's, like it's not... Here. I can make a couple of calls and sure as hell find out. Could you? Geez, I'd appreciate that when if you, you could. When you go down to Tropicana, it's not the first gas station, it's the second. Oh, They'll see Tropicana. There's a big sign right down the street here. It says Tropicana Avenue. Just turn and make a right. When you get to Paradise, make another right. Okay, the big black building. Just like that. Wow. 24 days on the road. Tropicana. See, here's Tropicana. And this is uh, Boulder Highway that goes clear down like that. So it's pretty far to town, then. Sounds well, clear to me that... Paradise. Clear up someplace around there. There's Paradise. Well, we're further down, aren't we? Aren't we way down to the... Yeah, we're somewhere? down in here. Yeah. Because, see, this is Boulder Highway. Yep. Shh. The so Tropicana. That's not it. That bartender in there is a hophead to lead no. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a lead, you know. Yeah, it's a, it's a lead. Do you get any money for finding this place? Only if we find it. Only if we write the article and get it in. Well, why don't you come inside and sit down? Hmm? Go inside and sit down. We're trying to get as much sun as we can. She's going to make a phone call to find out where it is. Oh. Okay, well, let's go inside. Here's your map. Okay. Yeah, let's go inside. Here's your map. 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 Here's your Do they have any? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, there's a scotch brand. Scotch? Mm -hmm. With soda, please. With soda. You don't have any of uh, those Sonys? Oh, Sonys? No, these are scotch. Mm -hmm. No, I prefer a shorter one, I think. Can they, can, they rent, can they rent that with the option to buy that same instrument? Well, he keeps them to rent that, I guess. Do you find out about their place? No, he says he doesn't know where it's at. I, I remember the name. You know who owned it? No, I don't know anything about she it. Other than mentioned the guy's name, but it's on the tape. What about the, the address? She said it was to come down traffic on it, turn right on Paradise. And right. She said it was a big black building, that's all. But, it, I mean, that's where it used to be, or, you know... How far down Paradise did she well, say to go? she didn't. Is that we could miss it? It's a monstrous black... Well, it's a psychiatrist. We started off to tell her, we thought it was called the American Dream or something. Oh, no, it's where all the pushers and... No, I don't remember the American Dream. That's one thing. A psychiatrist, didn't Forrest do you stole on that? Yeah, no, that, that's the name she, she mentioned. Somebody. Yeah, yeah that's and the it's name down she there and they burned it down because uh, the Dukes Club, it used to call the Dukes. No, that was the Dukes. Yeah, she mentioned that name. I think it was a psychiatrist, too. That's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Good. About a year ago, it was an operation. So the, the American Dream is. They burned, burned it down, down yeah. <laughs> they burned it down. A lot, of, a lot of show people used to go there. Right? <coughs> yeah, it's, it's just a level of ground. It's, it's right about, about a block after that big Pepsi sign there. It's right across from the Jungle Club. The ground is still there, I think. Uh, yeah, they burned it down, I guess. They just destroyed it completely. Let's go look at the burnt ground. There's a couple buildings in the back. I have a couple wood. The, 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 the real weird thing is that we were sent out to look for a, for the American Dream by this magazine, and uh, we didn't know where it was or what it was or if it was. And this lady told us that uh, it was the psychiatrist club. It's laid at some little uh, taco stand down the road a ways. How much is your cheapest credit for here? 189. How much? 189. Uh, I think, right? 179. Once you're 159. 159? You lunatic. You're gonna find the American dream before you go buy and clear it out. I've never heard of the place, actually. Yeah, well, I think it's a bit of a hype back then. Actually, it probably didn't get a lot of publicity because I would have heard about it, you know. But then again, most of the people that hang around, like you say, you know, are, are older people, too. I'm 18, you know, be 21, and 
pussy. Well, maybe the pussy cat. Why don't you go to the pussy cat? Where's that? It's right on the strip. That's that's been you know got kind of a long tradition of history to it as far as getting busted. From below the Sahara area, or out this way. Well, um, there's a strip, right? Yeah. Okay, well, we're just go down. Just, you're at the flamingo. Yeah. Well, then it. Uh, well, it's on the right hand side if you're going uh, north. Well, we can't miss it. Though. You know, that's probably about your yeah. business bad, actually. Oh, what is going Because over there? that's what most, you know. Well, if we get busted, that'd be very good for you, really. Yeah, I'm busted. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Okay, I hope you get something anyway. Oh, we're going to go. We're not going to find something up for you. All right, we'll just come back by a car I'll let you in on the fraternity party or something. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see ya. What's this, uh, Gallows or Jallows or? Gallows Lounge. Hong Kong dining room. Across the street from the burnt down, uh, the burnt. Can't see a thing. I don't have any I hear you, but I can't see you. Real cold, bud? Bud White? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take the coldest beer you got, too. Hi, So, was there a club? What? Was there a club across the street called the Psychiatrist Club? Yes. That's the reckless bus. Yes. The one that it burned down. I'd be ashamed of you. I'm just the same way as you. Why should I be ashamed of you? How long has that psychiatrist been burnt down, fellas? Oh, hell. Uh, the psychiatrist has been gone for at least three years. Three years. Three years. Good three years. Three years for sure. It hasn't been burned down that long, but it's been gone for yeah, that long. Because it's burned down when it was all going to break. Well, I guess we've been sending a wild goose chase. I'll tell you what. So, not two years too late. Good Well, they sent us up here to from San Francisco to do a story. Uh, we work for a magazine. Well, and so they, they mentioned several different weird places to, you know, do a story for some hippie magazine over in uh, Frisco and uh, sort of ended up like a wild goose chase. All the places you're supposed to go see, they don't exist anymore. Is there a place called Amer the American Dream Room? Right. American Dream Room? What was the name of that other place that that other guy was talking about? I can't remember that. It had something to do with this. It was like this, or the change the name of this place, or... This was a big black building. This was the same one we were... When it was... Of course it was. Yeah. It was the same place. Oh, boy. Did you... Did you... Did you... you make me all nervous back here with that flash? Did you lose some money yesterday? You said it was a hang-up for all that. Our support is great for many of you. Can we buy you a drink? Well, buy that country. Industrial I just had an entry. <laughs> <laughs> you know a guy on that industrial commission? Yeah. Joey. Is he still with them? Yeah. Maybe some sort of a country club or something. Yeah, he's got it. Well, it was called, they, they said it was called the American Dream. You know what happened? No, I, I don't know. I heard the American Dream. You ever, ever right. place like that? This song was killed in the bathtub, actually. No, I don't do it. Kill the breath, though? Yeah. Kill the shower. Did you believe that? Take a shower in his car? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe it, but it's all still on There's another character in the way. Have you ever heard of the American Dream? American Dream? In this town? Some, somewhere in the area, that's all I know. I know. Somewhere. No, you may be right. You may be right. I don't believe better join this town and me and Mac haven't been put out of, so I know we would I know we would remember the American dream, right right Mac? Maybe you maybe you haven't found it yet. I, well I remember a couple of wet dreams, but never American. <laughs> <laughs>
No, there's not there's not a toll in this town named that. It might be a, like a country club or something like that. Uh, golf and train. Uh, we know. I know where I know where a toll in this town. struck me what's what's going on here. Where? Anybody well, well with us. Okay. The assignment. Any there is any, any man any, well yeah well I, I just found out what it is, I think. Anybody that is that is in search of the American dream needs a lawyer, a doctor and a bodyguard. <laughs> because there's no other way to even look for it without that sort of without that sort of a guidance wow. and counseling. The doctor mainly for pills. <laughs> Illegal drugs. Well, the whole medical profession, psychiatrists, medical, everything. I'm... And a credit card. And a credit card. Well, yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a, and probably a, a huge convertible of some kind. All right, for nothing, for different situations. Okay. Yeah. White whale. Like in this I case. told that. That's what I told the chick. Do you think that's my car? Do I look like I would own a car like that? Only people in search of that kind of a dream. They'd probably call the police on us right if you look. And that woman where he, where he parked inside that house to eat those tacos. You, you notice you how the, that, that the owner that he turned off, she said she was going to make a call for us, yeah. and then she just, boom, forgot about it. You know, like, they don't have time. She was crazy, know. I think, the way she thought. She's been eating too many tacos. Yeah. Too many. It sounded like a speed freak. He went around the bend about four years ago. I imagine that. All that shit she told us happened four years ago. But She thinks it's still going on? Yeah. Maybe for her it is. Well, in her mind, she'd never go there anyway. You know what I mean? I mean, you do American dream is 24-hour violence right around the corner. The burn down. Yeah. We're going to go back there and start giving her a lot of hell about it. It burned down. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're just one of these people that are sending us on the wild goose chase. Yeah. Everybody's, yeah, everybody's fucking with We think we're fucking with other people's minds, but they're the ones that are fucking with Yeah. Give me the pussy cat or the jungle cult. For a wet dream. The guy said that the only American he knew was a wet dream. A wet dream? That's what he said. I think that's what he said. He died in the bathtub. <laughs> Kill itself in, in a car. Take <laughs> a shower in its car. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I think we might have it now. <laughs> huh? The, sure as the main thing we gotta do is move, though, you know? Well, let's finish this beer. Oh, I've already finished mine. I'll tell you what. Crap, you don't care. Maybe the pussy cat. Let's try one more place right there across the street, that Mexican joint. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to bring him to this neighborhood. I want to get it. Nobody knows who's doing it. Thanks a lot, buddy. All right, fellas. I'll See you later. Find what you're looking for there, buddy. I hope so, too. I think they're setting us on a wild goose chase, to be honest with you. It's all right. I think I can express it, Ken. I, right? I think you're right when I said the American dream. Was it a wet dream? No, the American dream. Oh. Uh, there's no dream. There's no dream. I have no dream. Yeah. Well, there's no dream. Yeah. There's no dream. Yeah. There's no dream. Yeah. There's no dream. Well, we don't really care, actually. They you could us... come up with something else or something, you know, anything yeah. else. I could give you, I mean, both of it could give you some kind of leads on anything. But, well, uh, this yeah. sounded like it over here. Thank you. What, the psychiatrist? Tell the description. Oh, that's, that's, been gone. that's been gone for two years. That's the. That's what's weird. They gave us a Cadillac convertible and expense account to go look for it, so... Oh, well, you know. Hey, hey, Katie bought a door. Have a good time. <laughs> they probably got one in Brooklyn. Take a ride back there. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's groovy. Yeah. Well, you I'll tell you what, though. If you find it, come in and tell us. Come in and tell us where it is. Do that for us, please. Right. We're, we're going to write a story. You can read it. Because, uh, believe me, I mean, we all we all live here and work here, and that's a joint that nobody's ever heard of. Well, you said that ranch didn't sell like it? 
I didn't hear you. Bent Ranch? Daydream Ranch. Oh, yeah, that's the Daydream Ranch. You said it's out in the country, it's out in the valley. Is that a place full of freaks, or is that, uh... No, it's not a What? You mean break? No, it's a... It's the place where we were told about it. It's full of pushers and hopheads and freaks of every kind. That's the psychiatrist, the only I can think of. But the Daydream Ranch is one of those? No, oh, no. No it's way. A no hangar. way. It's a riding stable, actually. Riding stable. Oh, yeah. uh, it's a cowboy hanging With a really. bar and everything, you know. Doesn't sound like it. Might be. Maybe they're all pushers. Oh, no. No, not really. I think it's probably where a bunch of hippies hang out myself. You know. You sure you don't have it mixed up with the fog cut? The what? <laughs> the fog cutter. The fog cutter? What's yeah. that? That's what you might be talking about. Yeah, maybe you ought to go down and talk to the Don and Ages, right? What the hell well, is that's it? a... Where is that? Right down the street. It's called the fog cutter? Fog cutter. Frog? Right FOG, down. Fog. 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 Cutter. Fog. FOG. Cutter. Fog. It's cutter. a place like this? Like yeah. this used to be? Well, they got, they got psychedelic music and stuff and everything else in there. But it's so easy at night to have. And a few other things. But it's not, I don't need something. I don't need, no, I really don't. It was a great big place that we were told what for. Well, great big place. Like a barn what about, or something. Uh, a bunch of catacombs, though. Somebody mentioned that. That's the only street. other one. That's, that's the, the only other. That's the biggest joint in town as far as a psychedelic this set and everything else. Cat a go go? Pussy, Pussy cat. Pussy cat a go go. Yeah. That's on the strip. I didn't right. yeah. on the strip. That's the biggest one in town, period. They, By they far. They don't get warmed up until about 2 o'clock in the morning. By far. That's the biggest one in town. Maybe, maybe that's the American dream. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, yeah. Thanks a lot, you guys. Right. We've got time. Thanks nice talking to you. See you later. Exit. And out. Over and out. <laughs>